Okay, so in previous videos, we looked at discovering objects in PowerShell. We talked about using getMember to discover those objects. We talked about selecting object properties using select object. Now let's talk about how we can sort objects. And just as a reminder, we talked about this in a previous video, but just as a reminder, we're going to do get command and I'm going to look for the noun object and these are generic PowerShell commandlets that will work with any type of object and this is just a reminder we can compare objects we can group objects measure objects uh, select objects this is what we were talking about that lets us select different properties now I want to look at sorting yep that looks better I want to look at sorting objects using the sort object commandlet and this can be really useful so I'm going to clear this let me show you what where this could be helpful I'm going to do a get, whoops, wrong thing. I'm going to do a get process. And I just want to look at the name. Whoops. Let me do this right. There we go. Select object name and CPU time. Pipe that to more because there's a lot of them. Okay, so this gives me my name and my CPU time. Okay, great. Which process is using the most CPU? E gets well I could scroll through and well there's 974 do we have something bigger than that and we can scroll through and we can do this manually but why should we do it manually when we can make the system do it for us wouldn't that be a whole lot nicer well we can so here's the command it's get process I'm gonna pipe it to select object I just want the name and the CPU and then I'm going to pipe that to sort object. And then I'm going to give it the name of the property I want it to sort on. So I want it to sort on CPU. So select object. Not important, but it makes it look better. There we go. Select object is going to select just those two properties from all of my uh, uh, process objects. And then sort object is going to sort by CPU. Oops, that's not going to work. Go to the end, now pipe it to more, that'll work. Okay, now that actually did sort, it just didn't sort the way I wanted it to. It sorted it in ascending order. Humorously enough, my recorder, which is what I'm using to record these videos, has used the most processor time. Okay, so if I want to do this, let's do this. Let's do a get help on sort object. We'll just take a minute to remember how git help works. I'm going to pipe that to more. And I'm going to look at my syntax and I'm going to see sort object. We're going to see here property is in square brackets. So that is a uh, positional parameter. Remember, if it's in square brackets, I technically don't have to use it. So that's why I can say sort object and then just give it property name. So that's specifying dash property. But there's another one here dash descending. Now this is in square brackets, which means it's optional. And we just saw that I just ran it without the dash descending, but it's sorted in ascending order. So dash descending is how I change this to sort in descending order. So this is what it's going to look like. Clear this back to the top of the screen to make it easier to read. Get process. I'm going to select object. I want the name and the CPU. And then, whoops, and then I want to sort object on CPU, but this time I want it in descending order. By the way, you can also do DESC, that'll work as well. Let me pipe that to more. And hey, look at that. We are now in descending order instead of ascending order. So cool. That's exactly what we were looking for. Now, we're just going to throw this in for the fun of it. What if I only want to see the first 10? Show me the top 10 uh, most CPU intensive applications in my uh, processes. So I'm going to come back to just hit the up arrow to get back to my command. I'm also going to do one more thing here. I want to add the path just because I want to see, all right, where do these come from? There we go. So now it's going to show me my biggest uh, CPU users and what application we're actually running. I can probably determine that from here, but knowing that actual path can be helpful sometimes. 
Okay, control C to break out of there, clear my screen. I'm gonna hit up arrow. Now, I wanna look at just the first 10. Now, this is gonna be kind of weird because normally when we filter objects, we use where object. We're gonna talk about that in another video later on, so don't worry about that yet. But if I want the first or the last or something like that, I actually use select object, not where object. Now, this is another thing that some of my students find a little bit confusing. We think of select object being, oh, that's going to select this object and this object and this object. It doesn't. It selects properties, not objects, except for doing the first and the last. So I'm going to pipe this to select object again. Now, this select object gave me my name, my CPU, and my path. Then I sorted. And then I'm going to use select object to select the first 10. So select object dash, dash first 10. And this time it will just show me my first 10. It'll show me my name, my CPU, and my path. Now, key thing here, if you are going to do a first, unless you're wanting a random sample or something like that, if you want it based on actual data, always sort before you select your first or your last. That guarantees that you're getting the right things. If I didn't, if I wouldn't have done that, let me take out this sort object CPU to send in. Let's say I put that after my sort. Whoops, yeah, sort object. Yeah, let me type it correctly. Dash descending, there we go. Now what it's going to do, these are not the same things, is it? What happened is it got all of my processes. It selected the name, the CPU, the path. Then it selected the first 10. So my top 10, and it's going to be actually be my top 10 alphabetically. Then it sorted them by CPU in descending order. That did not give me what I wanted because my highest user was the recorder. It starts with R. This select object initially sorts by name. So we see A's and C's and no R. So when you're doing this, if you want to do a select first 10 or last 10 or something like that, make sure your sort command comes first. So you're sorting in the right order before you do your select first or select last. Okay. There we go. That is how we will sort objects in PowerShell.